Welcome to the Watchman Channel. This channel is all about world news and Bible prophecy, pointing to the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am asking that if you can, to please help to financially support this ministry. If you feel led to pledge any amount of money, it would be extremely helpful and greatly appreciated. There is a PayPal link in the description box and in my pinned comment below. You can also donate using Cash App. My cash tag is dollar sign watchman 1963 thank you all so much for your prayers and support god bless ephesians 5 15 and 16. see then that you walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the time because the days are evil first peter 5 8 be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour now to the Eurovision contest. Remember when it was just a joyful freak show of song and dance? Well, now it's just become a freak show, a hateful anti-Israeli one where one lone performer representing Israel was mercilessly bullied by the crowd who booed her, by fellow contestants and even commie troll Greta Thunberg. Here to show that we think it is outrageous and inexcusable for Eurovision to let Israel participate while committing a genocide. Yes, it's a song contest where, where Israel, a country that is currently committing a genocide in Gaza, are allowed to compete. Yeah, that is a very clear example that does say that when a country accepts in a way that when a country uh, behaves in a way that is unacceptable, then Eurovision excludes them. So why not Israel? Uh, she really is a miserable little doom goblin, isn't she? And how wonderful to see her go from climate expert to Middle East expert. And she really believes she's saving the world by encouraging kids to waste their lives, getting themselves arrested, this time for trying to stop a woman singing. I think they should be everywhere. And once again, uh, young people are, are leading the way, showing showing uh, the world how how they how, how we should react to this. But it wasn't just Greta. The Israeli performer Eden Golan was also bullied by other contestants, including this 30-something child representing Greece, pretending to fall asleep when media asked Eden a question. Very happy. Thank you. How do you feel uh, after reaching the final when the situation in Israel, and uh, you know how it is? Um, well, I feel I'm so overwhelmed with emotions. It's truly such an honor to be here on stage. And among the most virulent anti-Israel performers was the nine binary witch Bambi thug. By the way, that is not me having a go at her. That's how she describes herself. Do you know what makes me special? I'm a queer. <laughs> and I'm a witch! Well, despite backing a boycott of the event, a Bambi thug decided to participate herself. Of course, she didn't want to pay a personal price for her activism and miss out on Eurovision. But what did she do when Israel made it to the finals? Um, I cried with my team. Yes, there were tears from that lefty, but there was also demented joy. I guess that's what this is. <laughs> yes, the Irish lass cried and laughed, and she cried some more when Israel ended up doing particularly well with the public vote, not the jury vote for obvious reasons, but the public voted for talent, not a hateful, confused witch. And so we saw the lefty lose it again. I'm, I don't even care anymore. Them. The thing that makes us as contestants, the community behind us, the love and the power and the support of all of us is what is making change. And the world has spoken. The queers are coming. Non-binary. 
And the world did speak and backed the Israeli performer who got the maximum 12 votes from the public from countries such as Australia, Belgium, Finland, France, Germany, Spain, Sweden, UK, Portugal, Switzerland, Italy, the list goes on. But the jury votes did not go to Israel. Indeed, shamefully, Australia's jury votes went to the demonic crybaby witch. Ephesians 6.12 For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Satan hates the Jews with a passion. He hates them because God provided both the Bible and the Messiah through them. He hates them because God called them to be his chosen people. He hates them because God has promised to save a remnant of them. He hates them because God loves them. Satan works overtime to plant seeds of hatred in people's hearts toward the Jews. He is determined to destroy every Jew on planet Earth so that God cannot keep his promise to save a great remnant. He tried to annihilate them in the Holocaust. He failed. He will try to destroy them once again during the last half of the tribulation. He will fail again. Israel observes its 76th Independence Day in the middle of a war for its survival. The IDF is engaged in close combat with Hamas in eastern Rafah, and troops are poised for a full-scale invasion. Well, reports are now surfacing that the Biden administration has been holding back intelligence on the location of key Hamas leaders, including Sinwar. Israel's 76th Independence Day ceremonies were mixed with grief and sorrow this year as war rages on and the fate of the hostages in Gaza remain unknown. The state of Israel was not there on October 7th in full force and power as we all expected, but since then it has been working every day to return you home to your family. Israeli troops meanwhile pushing deeper into eastern Rafah, dismantling Hamas infrastructure. IDF soldiers said to be engaged in close quarters combat with the group's terror fighters. The U.S. believes Israel has enough troops deployed outside the city to launch a full ground invasion. For the north, in Jabalia, a steady stream of people continued to pour out of the city as IDF forces re-engaged Hamas fighters there. We escaped from the shelling and missile attacks. We couldn't bear all this, so we ran out. There's evidence that despite Israel's efforts to eliminate Hamas from northern Gaza, that fighters are regrouping in areas once cleared out. U.S. officials now doubt whether Israel can achieve total victory in Gaza and are warning they could face a resurgent terror group. Israel's on the trajectory, potentially, to inherit an insurgency with many armed Hamas left, or, if it leaves, a vacuum filled by chaos, filled by anarchy, and probably refilled by Hamas. In Rafah, the UN says more than 450,000 Gazans have fled the city for safe zones as Israel potentially prepares a full-scale invasion of Hamas's last stronghold. The Biden administration, still trying to prevent such an operation inside Rafah, reportedly has withheld critical intelligence regarding the location of Hamas leaders, including Yahya Sinwar, the architect of the October 7th attacks. The release only coming if the Israelis agree to a limited and targeted operation in the southern Gaza city. Genesis 12, 1 through 3. Now the Lord had said to Abram, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. God's foreign policy is pretty simple. If you bless Israel, you will be blessed. If you curse Israel, you will be cursed. This is a uh, part of a trend and a pattern. Uh, the Biden administration has been trying to control uh, this conflict from day one, whether uh, it escalates or not, uh, how many days, who goes where, who does what. This is not the best course of action. 
Uh, we help our allies against our enemies. That's how it should be. The Washington Post reporting that U.S. intelligence even contains the precise location of the group's terror tunnels. So if this is the case, and we know where Sinwar is, and we know how the tunnels look like, so what are we as the United States government uh, waiting for? The White House denies it withheld such intelligence. In the last days, Jerusalem will be the focal point of world politics as we read in Zechariah 12, 2 and 3. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of drunkenness to all the surrounding peoples when they lay siege against Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall happen in that day that I will make Jerusalem a very heavy stone for all peoples. All who would heave it away will surely be cut in pieces, though all nations of the earth are gathered against it. Scripture plainly tells us all nations, including America, will be gathered against Jerusalem in the last days. I have often wondered what could possibly cause America to turn on Israel. I believe the answer is now clear. To the daily storms in the south, there were at least four reported tornadoes in three states yesterday. Of course, Ginger is tracking it all for us. And Ginger, this is 19 days in a row of twisters here in the country. Yes, and the atmosphere already trying this morning, Michael, to make it 20 because we've got tornado warnings that have been happening the last couple of hours. Brand new tornado watch that is in place until 1 p.m. for everybody highlighted in yellow. That's Brunswick, Georgia, Jacksonville, Gainesville, down to, say, Crystal River in Florida. So it's going to be a really tough next couple of hours. And it's been a tough night with more than 130 severe reports all the way back to Texas. Are you kidding me? This morning, new video as tornadoes and severe storms rip across the Ozarks to the Gulf Coast leaving at least two dead in Louisiana. I go with chair. Debris flying in the streets of Sulphur, Louisiana after winds of more than 70 miles per hour slice through the area. A likely tornado spotted and its damage vivid. Cars flipped, the roof of this gas station mangled. Oh, is there anybody else in these other campers? In St. Martin Parish, homes and trailers toppled. Survivors out surveying the devastation, pieces of their lives scattered everywhere. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. And a close encounter with an EF0 in Missouri. It looks like it's getting bigger. The twister with 75 mile per hour winds tearing across a golf course. 19 days in a row of tornadoes in the US. This begs the question, is God judging America for turning its back on Israel? Psalm 2, 1 through 12. Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all those who put their trust in him. The signs of Jesus' soon return are so strong now, and the evidence is so clear that any person willing to accept the truth can see that the end of the world as we know it is near. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. These are the ABCs of salvation. A. Admit that you're a sinner. B. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and God raised him from the dead. C. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you will be saved. Jesus paid the price for mankind's sin. He has provided a way to spend eternity with him and the Father. All you have to do is Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. God has already done all the work. All you must do is receive, in faith, the salvation God offers. Fully trust in Jesus alone as the payment for your sins. Believe in Him, and you will not perish. God is offering you salvation as a gift. 
All you have to do is accept it. Jesus is the only way of salvation. That being said, we must repent of our sins. While repentance is not a work that earns salvation, repentance unto salvation does result in works. It is impossible to truly and fully change your mind without that causing a change in action. In the Bible, repentance results in a change in behavior. Repentance, properly defined, is necessary for salvation. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Time is short. Call upon the name of Jesus today.